My name is Barry Hunter and I'm playing John Mayhew, who is the solicitor of Leonard Vole, who is the accused. I've worked with Kenny over the last 20, 20 plus years now uh, as a designer. He's got a very good vision, and I suppose that's probably coming from the, the designer side of him, about how, it's, how it will look, how the, the traffic of it will move, and, uh, and obviously where we will be, and how we will be lit, and what we will be wearing. You've got all the elements that would normally be there, you know, the whodunit quality and the, the red herrings along the way, uh, little twists, little turns. Um, but the good, th what I like about this is it's very concentrated because you know the, all the action takes place either in the office of Sir Wilfred or in the court. The whole great thing about a, a well-written, well-plotted um, and thought-through whodunit is great because you know the audience, they might think they're with it, you know, they might think they know who's done it and they might have got it all but that might very well turn in their head. My name is Darren Brownlee and I will be playing Inspector Hearn and Mr Clegg. I imagine Kenny like a... Uh, he is a shepherd and we are his sheep. So he kind of leaves us but does kind of steer us all in the direction that that we want, that he would like, he, what he sees and what he would like it to look like. But at the same time you've got a lot of freedom to uh, approaching it yourself. I think with every Agatha Christie play, the enjoyment comes of sitting and watching and trying to figure out who done it. For me personally, if I was a member of the audience watching it, that's, what I, that's where I would be getting my enjoyment out of sitting and watching and trying to figure out what actually was going on and who's got to do with who and who's double crossing and who's telling the truth and who's lying. So I think it's that, that kind of comes with it. My name is Emily Winter and I'm playing a character called Greta who is the secretary of Sir Wilfred Robarts. She definitely has some kind of hero worship going on for Sir Wilfred. I think she thinks he's the bee's knees and he can get anybody off of anything. And also he seems to use her. He thinks of her as, as being kind of one of the common people and so he gets an idea of what the jury might think. I worked with Kenny before uh, when we did the last Agatha Christie. He's very, he's very particular. He really, really uh, likes the look of a show and he's very definite about what he wants that look to be, which is fantastic because he comes in having done his homework and he really knows what he wants you to do and where he wants you to be. It makes you very aware of yourself. Uh, physically within the space, which is great. And he, he also, um, he allows us to give our ideas when we're working through a script, you know, he quite likes everybody to kind of say what they think about what's happening on the stage, which is lovely as well. Makes you feel part of the whole production. I'm Ewan Summers and I'm playing the court clerk. So I'm in charge of the evidence and uh, keeping things in order in the court. I think that the, uh, the court scenes are particularly well written. They, uh, they're really fast, uh, it's like lightning. It's sort of uh, everything happens very quickly and it's quite exciting. It keeps you guessing all the way through. Kenny's great, Kenny's got a very, very good eye for detail. Very, very clear picture of everything uh, in his head, both what's going on and how it's going to look on the stage under the lights. Uh, my name's Neil Thomas and in the production I'm playing uh, two characters. I play Carter, and the judge. My mum is a huge Agatha Christie fan and when I told her that this was the production they were doing uh, up here, she was delighted because it's just, it's, it's got everything you would hope it has. It's got a great story and there's, there's lots to find out. So yeah, it's fun, it's good. It's got, it's got everything you could possibly want from a good Agatha Christie, I think.